Yo. What's up? What's up? Happy New Year's. Yeah, Happy New Year. Even Year's. though it's we're like two months behind. Yeah. About maybe. But somewhere. Happy New Year's from us. <laughs> All right. You see, we got a cool little design set up. Oops. Yeah. We are in <laughs> our studio. Yes. Yeah, in our studio. Today we're gonna be talking about just giving you guys like an update. Mm -hmm. So it's been four months since we post anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's been four months. Oh, wow. I thought it was longer. Okay. Yeah, so it's been four months. A lot has happened in four months. And a lot has happened. No, this year, a lot has happened. And probably, you probably seen one of the videos. We were talking about how I got fired, right? If you haven't seen that video, you have to go back and watch that video, I'm telling you guys. Like, so you can put the pieces of the post right. together so you won't be lost in our story. Yeah, if you really wanna understand our whole story, go back to the first video we created concerning like- How we met. How we met mm -hmm. and why we decided to do this YouTube channel. How has 2023, well 2022, how has it been to you? Like, How has it been for me? Yeah. I think 2022 was a year of learning, a lot of shaping and molding for our business. It helped us to know what we want our 2023 to look like. The do's and don'ts for this year, what you think? Yeah, 2022. Um, Which, it wasn't a bad year. It wasn't, no, it, definitely, it was a learning. It definitely wasn't a bad year, but this is, it was our first year being like full-time entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm not having like a, I guess you would call it a regular job. Nine right? to five. Nine to five, mm -hmm. which I really thought I'm gonna have more time to do what I really wanna do. But honestly, being full time in your business, you're yeah. working nine, nine to nine. <laughs> <laughs> 24 seven in other words. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. So my relationship with God has been not a struggle, but it has been challenging far as like being full time. So I'm full time mm -hmm. and I'm I'm used to waking up every morning, praising God, worshiping God, praying, reading and becoming full time. I thought I had it planned out to whereas, OK, I know what I'm, I'm about to spend more time with God. Mm -hmm. Like I knew that for a fact, um, but I had to intentionally challenge myself to do what I have to do. Mm -hmm in order to continue having an intimate relationship with God, you know? Mm -hmm. And that been kind of difficult, um, 2022. Cause I guess everything is, it changed. Like being full time mm -hmm. is really I, I totally would, different. I would say it's, for, it's less discipline because we, we didn't have anybody to answer to. It was just us. Like we didn't have a boss to, say be here on time or to do this or to that it was all up to us and our self-discipline so i agree self-discipline um last year and um finding that balance going to bed at a certain time and like dj he wakes up super early so he can't stay up all night so it's just finding that balance where it's going to work for the family the business and of course his body yeah so yeah the business was really good this year and also we got a studio and it's like 3,000 square footage. And Shalisha, she persuaded me. Yeah, she persuaded me to actually go, or she wanted to do it, but I wasn't for it. What, for the building? Yeah, okay. for the building. Okay, okay. I, I mean, just to, if, if like he said, if y'all go back and watch all our videos, you'll uh, see a lot of it being me persuading him because when it came down to the studio to the house no we ain't gonna talk about the house i, I know we're not i'm we're just saying about the studio right but i'm saying a lot of that came with me persuading you so yeah it wasn't a not a bad persuasive way but in a good way right it was more of we can do this yeah it was more of me counting the cost right 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 and then making a decision that i'm gonna trust god because if you count, the, if you ever count the cost and base it upon what you have, you'll never be ready. And that's just how I see it. Right. Yeah, I see it that way. I guess you can say maybe to her it was more like you don't have faith. But I'm looking at it as, okay, what if this stuff doesn't happen, right? 
And I think that I believe that's really why God tell us to count the cost to say, OK, if this doesn't happen, are you still going to trust me? Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. basically I count the cost to at the end of it to make a decision and say, OK, God, I count all the costs. Now I made it. I'm making the decision that I'm going to trust you. Mm -hmm. So that's basically how it was. I And not saying that. I wasn't nervous. Like I was nervous as crap. Yeah, right? yeah, and I was too. And and again, like his DJ's walk of faith w does not look like my walk of faith. Whether it takes me like just do it. And yeah, it takes DJ time. DJ has to process everything, and I I just use less processing time. In right, this, and which is okay. Yeah. So we have a studio, and it's going well. Right. So it's not really open for the public, but we primarily use it for like the people that we work with. Mm -hmm. um, this year, we might open it up to the public just a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, to have maybe like group meetings and different stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, but we invested a lot in yeah. this. Yeah, and this th that was last year too. I think we can't leave that out. Last year we invested so much of our time and of course money into putting this together where we can have these sets, different sets where we can record and do video it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, even though last year we had the studio, we didn't do no video concerning our YouTube channel <laughs> in this studio. This is our first time. Is it? Ever. Is it? No, it's not. We done a podcast. Yeah, we, I studio. think we did. But, but we have we didn't talk about where we was at, you know. Um, yeah. But yeah, now let's talk about our marriage, like being full time entrepreneurs and business and partners. being business partners and being married and having a family. How was that in 2022? Again, I would have to say it was good, but we still had to find that balance because I would say DJ gets to work longer hours. He gets to work on his stuff more and I'm with the kids more, so I have a smaller window to work. And DJ can easily say, well, you gotta wake up earlier. I wake up early. But he gets a full eight hour rest. And my sleep is so broken up. And I don't I, get a full eight hour. I don't uh, go to sleep for eight hours. Oh, uh, how long do you, but you get- I uh, go to sleep. Okay. I'm, mainly I go to sleep from nine o'clock and I wake up around about 3.30. Okay, well, I'll say this. DJ gets sleep that's not broken up. It's sleep. I still, I still wake up though. But it's all because of you. It's not because I'm of- I'm talking about like in between like sleeping. I still wake up. <laughs> but that's still because of you. You talking about because you got Dave in and mm -hmm. he's trying to breastfeed, right? Nurse, yeah. Nurse and all of that, yeah. I, yeah, so yeah. my sleep is so broken. So my days look different from DJ's day, DJ days. And we have to find like that balance where I'm having a set time to work and do work only. And then DJ has his set time to work and work only. And then we still spend the time together as family. Yeah, so I would say for me, our marriage, I guess you would probably say DJ, man, he's looking at it at this way. But I would say our marriage has been good mm -hmm. but a little difficult mm -hmm. being that we are full-time entrepreneurs because we it's like we have to change modes or change shift yeah as far as like marriage yeah, mode, or relationship that's, that's mode good. and mm -hmm. business mode and Mom, me yeah yeah that's good um so me i'm like i'm always in business mode kind of sort of say yeah you know what i'm saying um so that been kind of difficult for me you get what I'm saying? Turning that switch on and off. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, that's a part of learning. Like that's a part of the process. Like that's a part of being a married couple and being a business partner. Like that's a part of the process. You get what I'm saying? So I know a lot of people say, you know, being partners and being business partners is, is kind of difficult. But I mean, that's just a part of and I mean that's you, just a part of it and you just I, have I to find it. what balances your marriage like everybody's gonna look different you know um and I actually allow DJ to wear that business uh hat because he runs 
the business majority of the time. So he needs that time to still at home to still do some business of which is fine. It's just finding, uh, again, I keep saying this word, but balance and being okay with him doing what he does. And then when it's my time to do whatever, him being okay doing what I do. Yeah. Yep, yep. You know, not let it really affect in the marriage. Like, cause in the beginning it did because I wasn't used to not having my husband as a husband or a dad. You know, I had a sp now I have to split it between husband, dad, and business partner. You mm -hmm. know, so yeah. And when when I was working, you know, nine to five, it was more easier. I can say, okay, I'm about to go home and, and relax. You yeah, you leave and that's work it. at work. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So, but now it's like you full time now. So whatever come in is pretty much up to you, you know? Um, so that's like how my mindset is like, okay, mm -hmm. whatever come in is pretty much up to us. Like if we want to stay full time entrepreneurs, it's pretty much up, up to us, you know? But we still can't let that get in the way of like our marriage. Right. And family, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And family. Mm -hmm. um, but speaking of marriage and family, this year we we got a house, you know, um, which was favor and yes, always call it. Well, Shalisa call it that, and now I call it that. Like our angel, you know, came. You know, honestly, um, it was like favor, like it was definitely uh, the favor of God because with the house by. Um, process being the way it is now with the market being the way it is now like it's just it makes it harder for entrepreneurs uh to just purchase a home so yeah we were able to purchase skip the traditional process to purchase a home and yeah and that we, was just yeah so, so good yeah and we are we are doing rent to own right now and it's it's favor it's favor with all of that um, so if you're watching this video, <laughs> we want to tell you thank you, like from the bottom of our heart. Like, oh yeah, she knows who she lot. is. Yeah, she. And really... look, if you want to come and be on a video with us, come on. Yeah, because it's one us. thing she had said when we were going through the, filling out the paper process, and I was just, just, just thanking her again. You know, just thank you um, for doing this uh, for us and just making this process go much smoother. And, and she looked at me and she said, y'all were supposed to have this house. And so like that right, that alone just shows me how God has carried us um, from faith to faith. And same thing with the house process, you know, I really didn't want to do it. Um, Whew, that took a lot of work on my end. Like, can you not see the blessing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I'm more like, let's say, money and invest in the building, the studio. And at first it was like, Shalisa was like, let's go ahead and get the studio. And I was like, okay, you want the studio or you want the house? <laughs> he always trying to give me a choice, you want this or that? I want both, I want it all. <laughs> but no, at the time she said studio. I did, okay, I did. Then a few months, because things changed, <laughs> things changed. Let me tell you about this though. So the house that we're living in, I know the previous owners very well. I went to high school with um, her children. And every time I rode past that house, I would say, DJ, that house is, this is when she was living in it. This house is so perfect for us. The the backyard uh, is fenced in and I just seen, I just seen our family in that home. And I used to say that so much, DJ, look, look at the house, look at the house. And when that opportunity came for me to step foot and possibly own in that house, I jumped right on it. Like, I jumped right on it. And I, I had to drag DJ by his ankles for a minute. But yeah. then he finally got on board and <sighs> we living in our house, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> And it's been smooth, you know? It's been smooth. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it that's, been. that's been, also, I had to count the cost as far as that too. I was like, okay, now what if we gotta get the grass cut at the apartment? We oh, didn't have to worry was, about that. He was adding up all okay, kinds of stuff. He was like, about what about air conditioning breaking? Air conditioning breaking. <laughs> all right. I'm just like, those what, what if is 
they I understand counting the cost, don't get me wrong, but they also turn into doubt. I was saying, what if the air conditioner never breaks? You know, like, what if it never happens? So it, 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 I started seeing it as doubt. And I get it because my load and DJ loads is totally different. As a man, I understand where he was coming from. I get it, you know? So I try not to be too hard, but I was frustrated on that part. Yeah, yeah. But I count the calls. Like I said, I count the calls. <laughs> not saying that I wasn't going to do it, but... You know what it sounded like, y'all? It sounded like because I was going back and forth, back and forth, but I wasn't done. I wasn't done processing the everything. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh, And the I'm thing done. about it, though, you a process. I, with this house, you process it, process, processed it. Wow. And you were on board. I don't know, so a few days after you were just like, I oh, don't know. And that right there frustrated me so bad. Cause I'm like, what happened? What 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 thought came in your mind to, that took you off of yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're like, I oh, don't know. So here I gotta go back into coaching mode and, and trying to get you back there. So but it, it took a lot. She didn't have to get me back there. Like that's my, I need time to process. I need time to think about it. Like just give me time to think about it and let me count the calls and let me make a decision you that did. I'm wait, let me make a decision <laughs> that I'm going to truly fully trust God. And see and, you know? and see with this going back and forth and all it was was a lack of communication because it could have been because I I assumed I let him process it and he was on board and then he jumped off board quickly. And I'm just like what happened? So if he would have said I'm still processing, I need more time, I'm just da da da, da that would have been cool but I'm frustrated, he's still more frustrated, then he he gets frustrated, and then we just, yeah. and that's where communication comes from. I'm like, we ain't, we ain't about to buy that house. And I still say, look, I if I had to go get a job to do this, I'm just gonna do it all by myself. That's just, <laughs> lack of communication have you just yeah. all over the place. So, I mean, all right, so are we gonna continue doing this YouTube thing? All right, so this YouTube thing being like, kind of difficult for us mm -hmm. right but honestly the main goal was not for y'all like the main goal was for us to store um history as far as like our whole history as far as like what we do like pictures mm -hmm. and videos mm -hmm. and different stuff like that um so we had to come back to why we was doing this for yeah the you know purpose. the purpose was mm -hmm. to share what we do and to um, encourage and to motivate yeah and, you know and for us to go back and look back at the videos that we were doing you know what i'm saying so yeah, yeah. um we don't know if we're gonna do it um that was the question it been many times where it was like nah we're not gonna do it no more because it seemed like every time we do something as far as like youtube videos our marriage just go down like every time every time mm -hmm. and, and so why why is it i can say why i can can i say why Go ahead. i asked that so i can answer it <laughs> oh okay <laughs> but i don't like when um I, oh, I, I well i know the times that I, when we said we weren't gonna do it is when like if if start to feel like this was priority like we gotta do these videos gotta do the videos and it didn't seem to come naturally for us or it didn't seem natural at the time to force it. So it, it kind of put me out of the mode of not want to do it. And DJ wanted to do it. So we'll, you know, clash and be you going at each other. Like, you know, this, that, that, that. So then that definitely puts me out of the mode. Like, I ain't finna get on here and that don't happen. And I ain't happy right now. So, and I think that's also a process of just if this is gonna be our lifestyle, then this has to happen. I think that that was your whole right. point. That's your whole point. Right. Like we got to do it when things don't look good, and do it when things look good. And I'm get, I get it. I definitely yeah, get it. Because my main thing is like, okay, if something happened in our marriage, like that's not perfect, right? I think we need to share that. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because. Right. Mm -hmm. Every, let's be real like everybody in marriage have some type of situation have some type of situation mm -hmm. so if we're gonna promote that we are we are the best communicators or if we are the best marriage people like that's not true you know what i'm saying that's not true so 
if we can also come on this platform and be authentic and be authentic mm-hmm. and tell you guys okay look this is what happened in our marriage maybe two weeks ago or a month ago and you know this is what we would decide that we're gonna do something like you know what i'm saying like i think that would be really good because then not only that help us to talk about it but that can help somebody else else. Mm -hmm. you get what i'm saying so we definitely gonna keep this youtube channel oh so you just decided real quick yeah (laughs) (laughs) see what i'm saying y'all you you yeah oh y'all just seen it for y'all too so we're gonna keep this youtube channel and not saying that we're gonna be consistent every week you know what I'm saying? And, we sh- and I think I'm we not, should. I think we should, the but feedback that I ain't making no problem. But the feedback <laughs> that we have gotten from you guys on our YouTube channel, y'all wanting more, I think we should give y'all more because it's just like a TV show. You want to binge off of it. You want to see more, you want to see more. And with us going four months, it's just like we're losing our audience. We're losing our tribe. So we want to build that uh, consistency back up. Yeah. And um, give y'all something to watch. Yeah, so for you guys, as far as watching this video, you know, what we're going to be talking about or what we're going to be showing on our YouTube channel. So the first video we created, we were saying that we want to show like our business side. Mm -hmm. And I think this last year or the previous years, we showed more of our family, mm-hmm. family birthday, and talk about marriage. Mm-hmm. But I don't think we really talked about or we showed the BTS behind the scenes of like what our business mm-hmm. work and stuff like that mm-hmm. and how we operate together as business partners. So we're gonna continue doing the same thing, but we're gonna actually show more of business, mm-hmm. like business what side. we do mm-hmm. behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Like next week, we have like a full. Next week and the week after, we have like a full week week Mm -hmm. of production with one of our clients, Estina. So that's a whole retreat. That's a whole week. Her name is Estina Harmsworth, if you want to look up, because you know, you you put a name out there like, Estina who? Yeah, 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 right, right. (laughs) So we, you gonna like, we got kids, you know, and we're trying to figure out how the kids are gonna be going you going back and forth yeah. and we want the kids to stay there we want yeah but y'all we need a nanny but no mommy one need got, no nanny. yeah we do mommy got trust issues <laughs> but no for real um like you were saying like we're going to be going a whole week and the kids are out of school the whole week so we would love to have them there with us the whole week so we got some stuff in place where um my parents and possibly his parents and um well, we, they got three sets of grandparents. So they have my mom, her husband, my dad, his wife, and then DJ parents. Yeah. So we're working out some stuff, and hopefully it'll fall in place where the kids can be along because I don't like going that long without my kids. But if I have to, you know, I yeah. have to. So we're gonna sh- we're gonna show some behind the scenes of that as well. Um, definitely, Shalisha got some stuff coming as far as like her photo shoots. Like we're gonna show more business stuff because um, we got. We actually got a lot of YouTube channels. Well, we got a few YouTube channels. Shalisha got her photography channel. Mm -hmm. Um, We had a business channel, but we turned that to Lewis Media Sports. Um, So I know I said a lot, but it is a lot when you figure out, okay, I actually got got to post consistently on these pages. Mm -hmm. So what we decided to do, we decided to bring Lewis Media, which is the business side of our business, and um collab that with the Lewis family channel so it's that's why we were saying we're going to show more of the business mm-hmm. side of what we do um so we're going to use our Lewis family channel as also showcasing the like business the side. business side to our audience I mean to our potential clients and our clients you get what I'm saying so they can see how we do things and what we do on a day-to-day basis um so yeah I think that's pretty much. I think we caught y'all up to date a little bit. Yeah. Um, so as always, if y'all have any questions or would like to hear uh, or see a certain thing, feel free to drop it in the comments. Mhm. And yeah. Like Daniel would say, hit that bell button. Hit that bell button. <laughs> hit the bell button. <laughs> Notifications and all that, so y'all can stay up to date and keep us moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
cool, cool. Well, that's it. Juice. Peace.